The rest of these will need fixed as well because there's no power going in the machines anymore. We're going to need more of these conduits first. So can I get more of you? Let's see here. I would need, I think, six more to convert the rest of the energy conduits I have on me right now. Oh, actually, I got more, didn't I? Well, then... Let's just do eight more. So, there's more of that guy. That will help me make more of you. Alright, so that should be enough to redo the rest of the room. Not that I have enough power to require these yet, but it's just if you wait and have lots of conduits to replace later, it's a lot harder. I mean, at some point we'll have to replace all of these with the even higher tier ones, but this is going to last well into the mid game. So we're going to be fine on this for quite a while. Okay, so you have power again, which means our power is good now. So what about you over here? If I step on you, Yep, cool, I can now put stuff in you. First thing is, first thing I wanna do is I want to put an import export something bus on this guy. Uh, is that what I wanna do first? Or do I wanna, wanna put stuff in the system first? Hmm. We will dump some things in the system first. So let's first keep things in my inventory that I want to hang on to which is going to be basically everything except my backpack, which I can't put in my backpack. Okay, yeah, that all looks right. So here's my crafting grid. Let's just dump all you guys in here. And then start taking all the rest of this stuff. You know, I might want to build that import-export bus before I do the rest of those chests because some of those things might actually be in here and I want them all to go back where they belong first. Alright, can we build a storage bus? Is that even what it's called? External store, that's what, that's what RS calls it. Alright, I would need... I've got lots of what I need. Need two chests and a cable. All right. Uh, let's change this mode. Let's change you to name, change you to JI synchronized. There we go. So I want this kind of cable. Uh, we need glass and redstone. Okay. All right, there we go. You can go in there. And uh, what else do we need for this guy? A couple chests. So, yeah, that should be pretty doable. All right, there we go. A couple of chests. And now we have an external storage. So, only thing left is to get some conduits. This time I need I need RS conduits. So those come from refined storage or whatever I'm talking about. Uh, let's see here. So we need cables, improved processor, and conduit binder. Should be some conduit binder here. So, yep, there we go. Is eight enough? We'll make it at least 16. All right. So, the next step is to connect this external storage dude. So, where's my breaky tool? Okay. Oh, there goes my glowstone. I'll have to think of something else to put there because he's not going to be a problem for me. Alright, so 
Um, time to get rid of some of these conduits. Where's my Yetta wrench? All right. So we want the external storage guy to be on him, and we're going to conf uh, we're going to set his priority to be high. We want things to go into him first for anything else. So you know I could dig down one more and then put things under there. Maybe I'll do that. It just might be easier. I could put the glowstone back then. Come on, Diggy Tool, where are you? There you go. Okay. Uh, and get a wrench. And, hmm. No, you're fine. Okay. So put you there. There we go. So now my refined storage system, I don't have my anti I can't jump anymore. There we go. So let's fix these guys. So are you braid? You are. So you should be like that. And you should be like that. And then you were also a facade, although you don't need to be now. So what we need is another braid, which I can't do right now because I can't turn you on. Okay. Cobblestone. I see bricks and slanted. Aren't there any braid? I have no more braid? Alright, whatever. It's fine. Where's my chisel and my dank null? Dank nose here. Get, oh wait, you know what? Let's call something here. So I need one piece of cobblestone chiseled with braid. There it is. Okay, there we go, and I can put this guy back. And again, I want to go to sleep through the night because I don't want zombies creeping up on me. Especially when they're creepy zombies. Or worse yet, you know, actual creepers. Okay, so yeah. So now when I'm over here, I should be able to see all my stuff over here. Like, um, yeah. Blocks of redstone and whatnot. And they should go in there first. So... Now we can dump the rest of the things in here. Alright, there's all the chests. So let's start breaking down the rest of this room. So, you are done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You, you, you. Where is my pickaxe? Alright. Alright. Okay, so yeah, that takes care of this room. You know, kinda. Alright, so we had a lot of facades in here, so we're not gonna have enough of this braid stuff to get rid of this stuff, I don't think. Alright, that's you know that's a that's that's a start. Okay, let's go look for our cobblestone. Let's see here. Cobblestone. So here's some bricks and here's some slanted. Let's see here. Maybe it was stone. Maybe that's why I wasn't finding it. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing. Wow. Yeah, I'm definitely at the wrong thing. Look, look at how different that looks. Okay, that was the problem. Cobblestone, not stone. 
And although they're very similar, they are not the same thing. So here's some more braid and some wide bricks and some encased bricks. Yeah, that should be everything we had in here. So, okay, just leaves my facades then. So, got a couple kinds of facades, but these can't be those facades. So let's go look in there and see if my facades are in here. I've got four of these, three of these, and one of these. Four sounds like the right number. Yeah, that looks right. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, there we go. A refined storage system. All right, now that we've got refined storage set up, we need to improve our power situation. So one of the problems I've noticed is that our generator only works during the daytime because he requires grid power and we only have grid power during the daytime. So I'd like to make some lunar panels, but lunar panels are gonna require lunar reactive dust, which is going to require uh, 16 grid power to produce. So uh, we're gonna need to make some other kind of power before we can get these going. So maybe we should make some water mills instead. So let's see here, a water mill. So a water mill requires some stone burnt, which requires eight GP of polished stone. I'd like to have I think eight of these guys. That'd be a good amount of power, I think. So let's get eight of these guys. So that means we're gonna need 48 stone burnt. So we need some polished stone. No need polished stone, really? Okay. Whenever you uh, first step on your thing, he, he there's a little bug where he has, doesn't quite register yet, so it takes a second to connect. So let's get some of you. I need way more of you. So we need to get these guys. So we need to get more of these guys. Let's see. That might be enough. That's 44. Okay, so that should be 48. Okay, so let's go ahead and stick these in the resonator. So we'll just put those in there. And like I said, you can't uh, overload this guy. He's going to draw power until... Oh, oops. I'm using too much power already. So uh, I'll have to take this guy out for now. And then I can keep working on this guy. But... We can speed him up as much as he can go because um, he can't overload. He just takes power while he's running. So that should be fine for that. All right, where's, where are we at? Stone burnt 40, 44, 48. Perfect. So now that he's good, let's put those guys back. Hopefully I don't need the resonator anymore right now. All right, so water mills. So we're going to require a couple of these guys, redstone gears. So we're going to require, looks like eight of these guys. All right, there we go. And even though we're doing this in here, don't want to forget to get our Thomcraft stuff out and scan that stuff like we didn't scan stone burnt. Which you can't scan in there, but you can, well, maybe you can't scan this period. All right, try it again. So there's one. So, all right, so that means we need a lot more of this guy. So how many do I really need? If I need eight for each one of those, I want seven more. I need 56 torches. Wow. So, okay. 
Gonna need some more sticks. There we go, we'll get some more sticks. All right. So that should be enough of those guys. Okay, that's 14. That should be the right number. There we go. So I've got eight water mills now. So let's take my reservoir and let's go outside and find some place to put these guys. So X utilities power, doesn't matter where it is. Just doesn't matter where it is at all. So I'm just gonna dump it out here somewhere. So I'll grab my shovel and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one, two, and then we're gonna have one of those water mills. And then they're gonna go like that and like that. So there's the rest of the place I want the water mills. And then we'll dig around these things too. And I'm gonna go two out from here, two out from here, two out from here. Then around the edges of, the, of all these. So water mills need flowing water. And the closer they are to the source block, the more power they generate. But if they're touching a source block, they don't generate any power at all. It's got to be flowing water, which kind of makes sense. So what I need to do is uh, get, let's see, are you an empty? Yeah. So uh, we're going to put, so he's generating no, okay. <clears throat> so you can see he's generating no power right now. Put this in here, he'll generate four power, but he can do better than this. Guess him over there and on that side and on that side. Now he generates 16 power and that's the max, four flowing from each side. And I do have a mod installed called Too Many Efficiency Losses, which um, de-nerfs the nerf that he put in here to uh, kill your power when you have too much of one generator. I mean, I understand that, but, you know, there's just, there's no other good ways to get power. After you get water mills, the next step up is dragon mills. That's not a progression. That's a giant jump. So... I decided to put the mod in there to get rid of that because I just hate that. There we go. We now have 137 grid power at least during the day. So now we can make those lunar mills and have the same power during the night. Now, obviously we wouldn't need them, but it's nice to have the same amount of power day and night. So I'd like to do that mostly for symmetry and balance. It's just, I don't know, a thing. Again, since we got that much power from the water mills, not necessary at all. You can totally replicate that design and keep going. It'll be fine. But, eh, that's boring. I want to make Lunar Mills too. So let's work on that. So we're done with those guys. And I want to make Lunar Mills instead. So we're going to need Lapis. We need nine Lapis. And that will give us Lunar Reactive Dust. There we go. Okay. There are speed upgrades for him too we could use, so that would be better. Okay, there we go. Lunar reactive dust. So let's see how we can make use of that. Now I'm thinking we probably don't have enough of the redstone guys to get what I want yet. So am I right about that? Yep, I don't have any of those guys. That's okay. We can make some. So to get these uh, resonating redstone crystals, we need redstone and an ender shard. We get an ender shard by cutting up ender pearl. So we're gonna need a glass cutter. So we'll get one of those guys. And then I want to get ender shards. So we'll get eight of those cutting up an ender pearl. And now we can get these guys and I need three of him. 
So there we go. Now I need nine of him, which he requires. What's he look missing? Polished stone. Oh yeah, we need to get more of that. Okay. There we go. Lunar panels. So now we can chuck these on the roof. And you can see right now, if we go downstairs, you'll see we have uh, only 128 power. We had 137 during the day because we had nine more from the solar generators. But now that's night, we don't have that. So let's go up on the roof and put these guys up here too. So we'll just chuck them on the other side of the roof. There we go. Generating a little bit more than one. I don't know why that is, but whatever. Okay, there we go. We have better power now and more stable ex-utilities power. So hopefully we won't run out of grid power during the night now. All right, that's a good wrapping up point for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Man, don't you hate it when YouTubers beg for likes and subscriptions? So lame. I mean, it would only take two seconds, but I get it. You don't have that kind of time. See you next time.